Welcome to Boat Buyer's Secret Weapon. I'm your host, Captain Matt, and today we're talking 11 cool things I found at IBEX. So IBEX is the International Boat Builders Expo. So people come from all over the world to show their wares and their products uh, to help boat builders build their boat. So you've got anything from the basics of resin and composites and CUSA board uh, to hardware, stainless steel, ladders, electronics, uh, canvas. There were thread manufacturers there, upholstery, um, anything that you can think of that would go into building a power boat um, they were there, trailers, trailer manufacturers, trailer accessories, all of that was there. Uh, there were on water demos. I've got some awesome videos coming for you for that, but I wanted to share 11 things that I thought you as a consumer may be interested in and knowing about. Um, some of them you may know, like the boat buckle. I've talked about it in my best boat captain on the water training, the trailering modules, um, it's so important to use your transom tie down straps and for, I think 50 or 70 bucks boat buckle is one that mounts right to the, the back of your trailer. You just ratchet them out and you hook them onto the boat and you're ready to go. It's super easy, super simple. Uh, talk to the guy from, what is it? I M M I manufacturing. I think, um, a great company, great guy and, um, a, a fantastic product that, um, that really makes it easy. So there's no excuse not to use them. The next, um, was this old farm guy not old farm guy. He was a young kid. Um, but a rancher from Montana, they've got a, a fabrication portion of the business where they build stainless steel, uh, different hardware for manufacturers. And this guy was an engineer that actually invented the product, um, Isaiah. He was the engineer that, that put it together uh, because they said, hey, on the ranch, we're having so many of these, um, the pins for the trailers that were uh, just getting seized and corroded and rusted on, and they're having to cut them all off. Um, so they came up with this solution. It's a titanium pin. It, it's got a locking mechanism. It goes right in. It's super, super heavy duty. They've got a, a real lifetime warranty, and I love just the no nonsense. Hey, they, they're just what you would expect from a, from a rancher that like, Hey, there's right and wrong. There's black and white. If we're going to give a warranty, it's just like my warranty on all of my products, the uh, best boat captain on the water or the first time boat buyer Academy um, guarantee. If it fails, for any reason, they're going to they're gonna replace it. doesn't matter if you're the first original owner. None of that crap. It's just money-back guarantee. It's that good. Lifetime warranty. Um, and it was rock solid. Like I said, built out of titanium. Um, he said they just got started with a Kickstarter program. Uh, but you can buy it directly from their website, and um, and I'll put that down in the show notes. So a, a great product and one that – my pen, I, I, I hate the, the cotter pen. I had a locking one that I, you know, was always getting corroded. And it was so hard to get the key to turn after even just a, a short period of time, like a year or so. Um, and, and so I really, I really liked that solution. Um, this was Talos. Talos is, uh, a, a lightning identifier. So they came up with this, uh, software that will identify lightning strikes up to 25 miles away and this is the digital display that goes with it. Green, there's lightning uh, 25 miles away. It turns blue, now it's 16. It turns red, it's six miles away. So that you can tell if a storm is approaching, how quickly it's approaching, when it gets to the point when it's you know, 25, 16 miles away, hey, maybe we got to head in six miles away. Man, you are you're in a danger zone. So it was it was pretty inexpensive. I think it was less than two hundred bucks for uh, for the unit, but a, a very cool product. And they were selling that to the manufacturers to just install as original equipment on the boat. Dripper guard. Now this is about as simple as it gets. Uh, a fifteen dollar product um, and a, a fifty dollar product, I think. And essentially, if you own a cruiser. You know that your through hauls leave rust stains, right? Your especially your AC, it just leaves that nastiness down the side of your boat. Well, they came up with a super simple solution a couple years ago called Dripper Guard. It just it mounts under your through haul fitting. 
that's the like the fifteen or twenty dollar version of it uh, with a three M tape sticks real well. They've got pressure testing videos, um, and it just it drips it so it goes right. It's like a drain spout, so it goes right off the side. They also now have released a through hole fitting. So if you're going to replace your through holes, you might as well put this on. It's got the dripper guard already built into it, fully stainless steel, and it's going to avoid the issue, and you know you're going to have to replace those through holes at some point. This may have been my favorite, coolest thing. Now, it's nothing you can buy yet, but I, I just wanted to highlight it because I, I think it's awesome. These lights that you see up here is actually a fabric. This is a company out of... Um, they, they've been selling it in Europe. Um, I want to say maybe they were a French company. Um, but anyway, uh, canvas light by uh, guard Tex. So this is a fabric. That's a light. This is underwater. Um, and, and you can see it's tied in a knot and, and essentially they've got this, this lighting system that they can just sew into your fabrics. It's such a subtle, nice light because it's it's naturally diffused i guess by the fabric it was really awesome it won an award at the show they've been selling it overseas in europe for um for a couple of years and now they're just introducing it into the u.s uh and, and i thought that was super cool now this is one that i love uh it's a mister system so this mister system what they've done is they've created an aftermarket mister system that you can actually install in your pontoon, your center console, your T-top. Um, if you have a Bimini top, they've got a, a solution for that as well. Um, but essentially, it's got a, a small freshwater holding tank, or you can run it the pump directly out of a freshwater tank if you have one. And it'll run for up to six hours on high mist. Um, and, and it just it, it's a super, super simple solution depending on... If you want to mount it in the helm, if you want to mount it in the T-top, you've got this attachment, and then they've got this pole that has these adjustable uh, nozzles on it that you can mount pretty much in any Bimini top at all, and uh, just a super simple solution, inexpensive. I mean, it was less than a thousand bucks for their most expensive thing that included the water tank as well, and um, and I thought that was a, a great product that um that a lot of people could use next is lily pad now the aqua lily pad is something my family has en enjoyed my daughter when she was I, I think two years old is when we when we got our first one that she had had been on and um at our place at the ozarks they're a foam manufacturer and they produce the foam that they sell um, to make things like the C deck flooring. Now I don't know if they supply C deck, but that type of flooring, right? So that's how they they started, and they said, "Hey, we got this foam. What else can we do?" And they came up with the lily pad. I think he said almost ten years ago. We were had. He said, "Man, if you've been that long," he said, "If you've had yours for eight years, and ours is still going strong, and it gets used." Um, aggressively by her kids and my my brother and sister's kids and everything uh, at the lake house and it's still it's hung through the test of time uh, and it just came from what else can we build with this so I really like the aqua lily pad and um, and, and I'm a personal user of it you probably have seen them around uh, they're the original creator they they build a good solid one that's going to last. They do have a, another brand that they sell through a dealers. So that your boat dealer um, will have an aqua lily pad made mat with the same material. It's just under a different brand. It, it escapes me, but it, um, and they're also coming out with the red, white, and blue one that um, ha has recently come out um, for, for their new product. Now we have Larry, Larry at Vico Marine, uh, I believe is how you say it, but he was here because his son-in-law, the owner of the company, was having a baby. So they, they had a, a two-week-old baby or a week-old baby, um, and he said, you know what? I, I do I do shows in the financial services world. You spend time with your my new granddaughter. You spend time with your family. Take care of everybody. I'm going to go do your show for you. If you've got a cover... And you are, it's, it's getting moldy and mildew inside because it doesn't have a vent. They've got these vents that they actually have one that you can install after market. You take a scissors. He said that was very important to use a scissors to cut a little X in it. And then they've built it so that you can actually just clip it on. It's got some teeth and um, kind of a male, female. So it snaps in nice and tight. 
and now you've just vented your cover and, and to make it so it's going to be um, it, it's going to let that air out a little bit, let it breathe. So it, um, it doesn't cause mold and mildew. And then it also allows you to add, you can see I'm talking about the teeth there. It also allows you to put these poles in. Now, the thing that I like about their poles is right here. You can see it's got that little rubber foot. That little rubber foot means that when you stand it up, it'll actually stand up by itself. It means it's not going to fall over. Um, and then they've also got a little a section that it, it doesn't snap into directly. It just clips into that vent, and it's a very, very sturdy system. So you can put some pressure on it so that water is just going to flow off the top. You've got it vented. You've got that foot that's not going to leave a mark. It's going to be stable. So as you're pulling the canvas and putting it back, um, it, it's not going to just fall over right away. I, there's a ton of manufacturers that are using this. And um, if if you're looking to replace yours, they will sell direct to the consumer. And, um, and this is definitely the way to go. It's a great product. And you can see this one how that fabric just goes right in. So there's no sewing required. Now they've got the vents that you can sew in like the manufacturers do, the uh, canvas people do. But this was, a, I thought, a great solution when I did my canvas cover video um, that how to cover your pontoon easily. I talk about the importance of vents, the importance of the poles, and um, so it's, uh, I was excited to find those guys. Now, you may know Surehold from their cleaning products. They they advertise on my channel quite a bit. It's probably the most engineered five-gallon bucket that you'll find. It operates as a seat with a little uh, comfortable edge on it, but the inside is what's real cool. So it's got a, a bottom drain section so that your dirty water goes to the bottom. You, you're just rinsing out in nice clean water. The little holder to hold all of your cleaning products right there. So you can keep that in your bucket all organized. It's not falling all around. Um, and then you've got the seat on it. Um, so it's a, a real cool bucket. And then it's got this little pedestal so it's nice and secure. Um, it, it's a great product. Uh, it was like 50 bucks. So it's, you know, you can get a five gallon bucket for $5 at, uh, at Lowe's. Uh, but this is one that's got everything you could need and it's specifically made <coughs> for the marine environment, including not having a, a, a metal handle on it, but a strap that's going to not rust and, and get all gross and bend and, and cause problems. Now this one, I wish I would have gotten a picture of Cindy, uh, but this Canberra gel. Um, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but it's made with tea tree oil. If you've got a cruiser or you've got a boat with a, a cabin or something that gets real stinky, um, this gel, and she actually gave me a, a sample of it, but this gel is made with tea tree oil and it actually eliminates the odor. So it doesn't just, it's not a, um, spray that's going to just mask it but it's actually going to get sucked up into the gel and because it's a gel it's good as it dries it's going to turn into just like kind of a hard ball of, of goop and it'll last about 90 days or so um, so it can get you you know with four of them it can get you through a season reduce that and eliminate that odor but it's not going to spill. It's not going to go all over the place. And uh, so you can see that Canberra gel is uh, the place to be. Again, I'll put the, the links down in the uh, description below. Um, this was Wave Wi-Fi. If you're somebody that needs Wi-Fi and you're a, you know, maybe you're a full-time cruiser or a liveaboard, they've got a great program with their routers that are specifically designed for the marine environment to easily change from network to network, um, easily pick up the best signal in your area uh, to prioritize the signals, as well as the antennas that you can then mount on your boat to give you the most range. And because of the way they've designed it, you can actually go a mile, miles away is the way they referred to it, away from that signal and still have that internet access. So I thought that was pretty great. I know that's a major challenge uh, from you folks that are, are trying to work from your boats. And, uh, and so that was a, a great option. Now, this was probably the coolest thing um, the, it's a joystick control. Now it's not for everybody. It's called DocMate. Let me show you their website and you can see how the system works. It's, it's a really simple concept. It's using the joystick control functionality that, um, you'll find with the IPS and the, uh, Zeus and the Axios on Mercruiser, but it's, 
it's an aftermarket system for 11 to 20 some grand. You can put this on your boat. It'll interact with, integrate with your bow thrusters, with your drives, and even your anchoring system so that you can control the boat, not from the helm, but from this joystick. You can move it side to side like you see them. Gives you the best vantage point and still control with the boat. So it's basically putting the helm in the hand of your, um, in your hand. Um, and they put it on a little lanyard so you don't drop it in the water. But um, just makes it, it real easy to maneuver. I, I was talking to him. He said, we've got it on a 24-foot boat. But really, as you get into the mid-30s and up, that's when it starts making sense for people. And obviously, the bigger the boat, um, the more expensive it's going to be, the more systems you have, the more thrusters, the more engines. Um, but it definitely twin engines. As you get a little bit larger, it makes more and more sense. But that dock made it just came out. It won the top products with boating industry in 2021. Um, and I, I believe it won an award at IBEX as well. Um, and, and this was Victor. Victor was a, a great guy. Um, so the other videos that I've got coming, I've got a couple more things for you, but I was also able to do a demo. So actually I've got some footage of running on an electric outboard, 180 horsepower electric outboard, um, on 300 horsepower ox diesels. Uh, they were twins, huge engines. I mean, these suckers were big. Um, the sea keeper, if you've never been on a sea keeper, I've heard of it. I was blown away. I I've known about this product for a long time, but, um, to actually experience it and, and feel it for yourself, it was, it was remarkable. Um, and then hydrofin. So I've been asked this on several videos in the comments is what do I think of hydrofin? What do I think of their, their functionality? And it's, it, I didn't know. I, I've never run it before, and I don't like to comment um, and get too far out of my depths if I haven't had real experience with something. And um, so I was really excited to meet Jason Miner. They won an award at the um, at the uh, IBEX event as well, and he let me operate the boat, so I've run it, and, and I've got some video for you on that. So stay tuned. Uh, I'll give you my uh, my thoughts and opinion on everything, and again, I don't take any money directly, so I'm going to give you the honest scoop. Um, it's not like I was talking to um, to a rep from a manufacturer, an engine manufacturer, and he was talking about um, boat test. How you know they kind of you know they kind of got you by the balls, and they're going to insist that you advertise with them, and they're not going to say anything negative. Um, and he, so he's like, you know, I, I appreciate what you're doing as I explained what we were doing here at boat buyer secret weapon, um, that it wasn't based on advertising dollars and I wasn't beholden to anybody. So I could, I could give the real honest, um, my, my real honest opinion on things and, and my real honest experience. I also talked to, um, the inventor of the lily pad diving board. Uh, he's also invented uh, a new ladder that they won an award for a fueling system. If you live on a lake and you've got to you've got to bring your fuel down to the boat, or you choose to to save some money, um, there the lily pad L I L L I pad, not the aqua lily pad that we just talked about, um, but their fuel flow system is incredible, um, and, and their ladder, you know, their their ladder's great. Um, I think if, uh, if you're looking to upgrade your ladder, it's way better. One of the hardest things is to bend down and pull up a four-step ladder. Um, this puts that four-step ladder in a kind of a, a foldable configuration and the way they put the strap makes it a lot easier, but they've got another product, um, a mounting solution that they're just selling to manufacturers now, but they're going to be releasing it, um, to consumers soon. Uh, so I told him, Hey, let me know when you do that. And, um, I'll share with that, but it's an awesome mounting solution. So you get a flush mount, um, that, that if you need to put something on your boat, but you don't want a toe stubber, um, it's, you know, it's mounting grills. They use it for mounting the lily pad is how, why they designed it and uh, just a great product. And I also talked to, um, one of the partners in, um, bling sauce. So you, you've, if you've seen some of my other videos, I've talked about the vinyl sauce, um, and, and their conditioner sauce. They've got two new products coming out. Um, I, I really enjoyed talking to her that, um, their approach from their, their founders, uh, the, the guys that created the, uh, the initial hot sauce, 
uh, because of the hard water in their area and getting their boats looking better. Um, she was from 303. Her and her husband have now partnered with them and um, are, are helping kind of build the brand and, and build out the distribution. But they're very big on third-party testing. And, and what I mean by that is they're partnering with the upholstery manufacturers, the three or four major upholstery manufacturers, and saying, listen, we want you to test this. We want to make sure our formula is right so that we are truly protecting um, the upholstery and, and we're not deteriorating it like some of the other products that if you've watched my what not to clean your boat with video, um, they, they go about it the right way. So I was really happy to hear that as they're looking to grow, they're keeping that approach. Um, they're keeping that approach with their products. So I'll have more to come on that. Uh, remember if you're buying your first boat, the first time boat buyers Academy. And, um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, Leave a comment, ask a question, tell me if you've used any of these products or if there's something that you would like to see that you've heard about, and I'll see if I can't get some more information for you. Remember, life truly is better on a boat.